guys, welcome back. Today we have a new article from Coindesk. Coindesk, where you can make all your coins happy. I don't know, whatever it is. Anyway, we got Bitcoin today. Right now, my God, 40,236. Back above the 40K mark. Oh, Ethereum is at 3013 And I bought some Doge today. I bought me some of that yummy Doge because uh, Elon Musk, he bought himself some Twitter. He is going to... He's going to clean house, get that, get that ship lined up and get running smoothly, and he's taking it private. Uh, he's going to probably make people pay in Dogecoin. That's my guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I bought me some Doge. Got to get me some Doge. Never know. Anyway, today. Today. I can't even line this thing up. We got too many pop-ups. Oh, my God. Here, let's close. There's a little X. Hold on. Ay, caramba. All right. Tech. GPUs get cheaper as Ethereum switch to proof of stake gets closer the old pos baby we've been talking about this forever we have been talking about it. it was supposed to come in june and then the uh one of the pr guys at ethereum or whoever kind of said hey it ain't happening in june but they never told us when it's going to happen they just love messing with us now no they are motivated to get pos but they can't push something out that breaks and upsets the DeFi guys the uh nft guys and all that stuff the people that are using the platform that would be bad business but uh, all the um, developers and people at Ethereum hold a lot of Ethereum. So they want this thing to go to POS. They can start staking what they got and get some more of that Ethereum. My prediction, it's going to tank. I think Ethereum's going to go down big time. Because once you lose it, the fanboys, the people pushing Ethereum, talking about Ethereum, buying Ethereum, mining Ethereum, miners are key. You're going to cut that whole piece of the community out of the proof of work puzzle i think you're gonna just basically hurt the price of ethereum it may spike up a little bit for all the news sell on the news man right sell on the news so i don't know if it spikes up i would probably dump ethereum uh after it goes pos just my hunch i don't know whatever i do do the opposite that's my financial advice all right guys let's get gpus get cheaper as ethereum switch to pos gets closer yeah the network's plan switch to POS has been pushing prices for graphics uh, cards down. Yeah, on StockX and eBay, they are going down. The uh, resellers, the scalpers are holding their ground, though. They are holding for that top dollar. And uh, they got those cards. They got them from Best Buy. They got them from Newegg. They got them from Target. New, uh, who else? Walmart and Amazon. They got them at MSRP or lower by using their reseller bots like Stellar AIO. Uh, a bunch of other ones too. They've got them, but now they are they are piling up. UPS keeps coming every day, and they need to unload these GPUs. They're piling up in their mommy's living room. They got to unload them. They got to unload them. And they're gonna have to start dropping their prices. And even the corporations, uh, the resellers, and that they're starting to uh, stock up on the shelves. Man, they are in stock. Some of the hard to ones, uh, hard to find uh, GPUs are not the 3060 Ti, Founders Edition is not i am not buying a gpu i i wanted to get one or two i said nah i just can't do it i just think it'd be throwing money away at this point i don't need them uh why would i buy something i can't roi at this time probably take over a year and uh with pr proof of stake coming the same old topic i was talking about i want to be buying gpus people that are going to buy gpus i say all right good for you i don't know anyway gpus which are used for mining ethereum and other i mean it's not just ethereum asics are specific to an algorithm so this is a gpu can mine any coin basically most coins out there right with proof of work yeah the gpus are getting cheaper as the network prepares to switch to uh proof of stake pos model from the proof of work model pow 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 pow, pow. Uh, which will render these computer parts virtually useless for those mining ethereum yeah people are going to be lots of crying lots of oh my gosh what happened well you should have been watching some channels We've been talking about proof of stake coming, even though they're kicking the can down the road a little bit. The GPUs are going down, but Ethereum going proof of stake when it happens. Kablamo. Kablamo. Going to be a lot of GPUs sitting there burning electricity, not making anybody anything. Unless you switch to another coin, but nobody knows which coin to switch to. There may be a new coin in the horizon. Nobody knows. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, some thoughts are you will have to turn your rigs off and just, you know, let them... Uh, sit there collecting dust or maybe now is the time 
to dump them on eBay or something. But then again, everyone and their mother is starting to dump their, uh, their rig. So it's going to be tough to get the price you want. You're not going to get MSRP. You might get half of that. You might not get anything. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, the asking price for popular GP models on eBay has dropped by 37% since May 2021. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. Uh, when the Chinese authorities issued a renewed corrective, the Chinese authorities, oh my God, they're everywhere. Yeah, China, China's everywhere, man. These guys are bad news. China, Chinese communists, boy, woo, watch out for those guys. Anyway, but the price drop has accelerated this year as Ethereum developers have been testing the POS, proof of stake, uh, yeah, or piece of <laughs> model, and the price of the second largest cryptocurrency has slumped slumped i tell you yeah oh yeah it's well now we're at three thousand i mean that's whatever it is what it is the price of 10 major gpu models on the online marketplace dropped 7.4 percent in january 9.5 percent in february and 12 it's it's snowballing baby it is snowballing again if you're buying a gpu now you're crazy for money don't do it do not do it oh my god you'll be throwing your money away don't just wait I'd wait till, uh, man, it's just going to get worse. It's going to be like way below MSRP because, again, people are holding in their living rooms. The resellers, the manufacturers are starting to pile up. They're going to be like, we got to get rid of these things. They're taking up shell space now. It's going to be a total inversion of the market. It's going to be more supply to demand, and that's going to run prices down to zero. Yeah, not zero, but you know what I mean. It's going to drop them down. But, again, which GPUs would you buy? They have to be efficient. They can't be one of these power-hungry 3090 Ti bastards. Um, sure, you get 115 mega hash, but oh my god, the power bill. And what are you going to mine? That's on Ethereum. What are you going to mine with that puppy and uh, pay that power bill? You might as well just, I don't know, might as well not buy it. <laughs> you probably want to get a more efficient card. And nobody knows. Nobody knows exactly which card that could be. or Because you have to map to a coin that's going to be readily available for you to turn those GPs on the mine. Yeah, I wish I would have known more when I got started into mining. I would have purchased ASICs. I really would have for the um, the ones that are efficient, that have, uh, use less wattage and give you a decent hash, hash rate. Problem being, they are stuck to a certain algorithm. And that's the downside. But again, now look, we're facing POS and Ethereum. And there may not be a real profitable coin to switch to when that happens. So who's the wiser? Plus, these damn GPUs are hot. You got to deal with a heat mitigation, manage that heat, electri electricity burn rate. Oh, it's just, I don't know. I think in the day when uh, it was profitable and the ROI was five to six months on the card, it was, it was, it was uh, attractive. Now it's just like, what am I doing this for? <laughs> you know, you got to wonder. And you see some of these other YouTubers with lots of rigs and I'm going, oh my God, I'm sure they got most of those cards free or they work at a place where they get them discounted. But I don't know. You're sitting on a lot of, in, a lot of hardware that's, may not be making you anything in the future so i don't know maybe they will maybe i'm the one that's stupid again i did go to i did go to public school i'm a product of the public school system so i'm not the smartest person on the planet right now anyway gpu miners are not really investing in new equipment exactly at the moment that is true and i'm an idiot and i know not to buy any of these gpus it's attractive oh my god 1660 supers are getting close to 320 Ooh, no no i want to see a hundred bucks maybe but then again i'm gonna buy it because what am i gonna mine with it you know after proof of stake everyone's gonna jump to another coin and you're not gonna get in there you know if you have a low uh, ping rate you're gonna be beat out by other miners with faster ping rates it's like ridiculous so i don't know you may be better off dumping your stuff and then buying into these uh, uh, mining farms where they are have high-speed connections and they're close to the hubs uh, and you get uh, uh, lower, lower throughput, fast speeds, milliseconds, you know, and that, that makes a difference in getting blocks to mine. So that may be the way to go. But then you're paying a fee for those services and you're either owning the ASIC to mine Bitcoin or, uh, yeah, lots of pros and cons with anything, man. That's why you got to do your own research. I'm just throwing out things I've heard. I don't know what to do. I'm sitting on a lot of money on these GPUs, and I have an ROI jet. So I hope by the end of the year I will ROI, and that's a plus. That's my only thing keeping me going right now. But we'll find out. Who knows, right? Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, we're not really buying any at the moment since prices have been high for a while, and most of them are likely waiting for Ethereum moves to POS to buy up the secondhand GPUs from those who will give up when the shift happens. 
chief marketing officer uh, at Hash Power Broker. He told, whatever, nice hash guy. All right, it's widely accepted as a poor investment right now. I hope you guys are listening. Don't just, it's too late to buy in, I think. I would just wait. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot, so I'm telling you, just wait. <laughs> Unless you really think you can make a profit, do the ROI. Yeah, here it is right here. These guys are, these guys are writing a good article. So good on you, Coindesk. You're actually writing an article and you're being truthful. It's widely accepted as a poor investment right now since the ROI return investment is much longer. And it wants to go proof of stake, man. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The network's hash rate and measure of computing power has been relatively stable since the start of the year. Data from information platform EtherScan shows. Yeah, EtherScan is your go to for checking the blockchain. Hey, we got a jet flying over. Fantastic. All right. When Ether, uh, when ETH eventually moves to POS, even more GPUs will be dumped on the secondary market and prices will uh, likely spiral even further. This is true. This is true. Just watch eBay. Check the trends on the new prices on StockX. They have graphs. You just type in the card you're interested in and you can see the trends and they are dropping, guys. You can put your bid in there, but I just want to buy one. I mean, that may even make the prices drop faster because the miners buy one the many cards. This is what makes me so mad at NVIDIA. They need to make cards specifically for miners, but they don't. They're just stupid because they just, oh, we love gamers, so let's put a LHR limiter in just to discourage mining. Dumb move, man. Miners buy one too many cards. Gamers typically buy one or two cards, right? What a, what a dumb move. Yeah, so now all these miners who have money or made money from mining aren't going to buy cards. They're holding off. They're maybe buying ASICs or they're just holding right now or buying CPUs, which may be a good move. Uh, yeah, that's how Bitcoin started, CPU mining. It started on CPU mining, on proof of work. That's where it started. Yeah, go, may go back to the origins. Who knows? Okay, adding to the downward pressure is that the price of Ethereum has been low while the difficulty of mining has increased. The price has picked up a little recently, but there is still some distance uh, to the previous peak. Yeah, it's, uh, it's low. And actually, the good thing is the gas fees have been low. And uh, getting your payout from the mining pools from Ethereum have been relatively quick. Uh, difficulty talks more about difficulty. I don't care about that. I get it. Oh, who cares about that right there? They're talking about, all right, since the ban on, uh, what is that? Since the ban, the domestic market has been flooded with a lot of secondhand equipment. Yeah, as some of these uh, non-friendly countries ban crypto, a lot of equipment becomes available. In the past month or so, slowing consumer demand in China and Europe has led even more excess inventory, pushing GPU prices even lower. For that reason, the investment bank downgraded chip makers NVIDIA stock to neutral from outperform earlier this month. That's why I shouldn't have bought it. Full disclosure, I bought NVIDIA like 300, man. It's down 35%. I'm an idiot. I didn't see that coming. I thought there'd be such demand yet. Uh, oh, well. There you go. Just so you can lose money in crypto and you can lose money in equities. So there you go. <laughs> I know sometimes it's better just put your money in an index fund and not worry about all this crap. It might be easier. Who's this? Eliza Grixti. All right. Thank you, Eliza. Eliza Grixti. She's based in Asia. All right. That's good to know. All right. Good article, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. You did a good article. You were honest, and you, you, you pointed out the pros and cons. Basically, there's no pros. Uh, it's just not a, a wise move right now for miners to buy a GPU or buy the stock. That's my ad, and don't buy the uh, NVIDIA stock. Well, now it's low. Maybe if you buy in, you might make a couple bucks. Whereas me, I'm down a few. <laughs> yeah, not too funny. But oh, well, thanks for watching. I'm out. Just wanted to read this article. They are getting cheaper. I went to buy, so it's like, so what? They're getting cheaper. If they're getting cheaper, does that make it more desirable? No, because what are you going to do with these things? You're going to buy this thing? Play games, sure, whatever. Waste your time playing games. Or you can put them to work mining and not make your ROI on them. So that's not even a smart move. You're better off taking that. 500 bucks on a uh, nvidia card and buying the freaking coin outright and staking it and getting dividends through rewards right away that might be the smartest move right now guys i don't know not sure not financial advice i'm an idiot do not listen to me i'll talk to you later out